Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my third video in the College 101 series, which is going to be on move-in and packing tips. So I'm going to start off with some of the things to do prior to moving in. So one of the things that really helped me in deciding what I wanted to pack and what I wanted to take and how much space I really was going to have available to me because dorm rooms are usually quite small. So I searched up the layout of my dorm. So for the dormitory that I stay in, there are two different possibilities of the layout of the room, kind of like where the bed is and the closets and where the door is kind of thing. So I could know before I got there kind of how everything was set up. So in my mind, I already knew where I wanted to put everything in. Not really, but kind of how much space I had. And just some things to keep in mind to make your move in a lot easier is check to see if you're going to pick up your key at your dorm or if you're going to pick up your key in another location because I know I had to pick up my key at another location and then go to my dorm and also keep in mind that you're not the only one moving in there's tons and tons of other people moving in so parking is going to be a hassle so try to figure out kind of where you can park close to your dorm I know I think we ended up paying um, a church that's close to there so we could park our car and then move in our stuff just because there was like no free parking available on the street and then also See um, where you can check out a cart because that really makes things easier is just kind of renting out one of those like little carts. So I usually have them in like the main desk at um, the dorms. So just get one of those carts or one of like the bins and it'll just help you get all your stuff in at once or maybe just one or two trips and not having to keep going back and forth to the car. Another thing to keep in mind, especially if you go to a really big school or if your dormitory is just the only dormitory or like one of the bigger dormitories and it's a few levels high the elevators will be full and you're gonna be spending a lot of your time either waiting for an elevator or walking up and down stairs so just be prepared for that and then just another helpful tip is always bring cleaning supplies I mean I feel like that's something you should pack but have them like easy to get so put them in a box or put them in a bag and make sure that's the first thing you take out because you don't want to take all your stuff out and then like start putting stuff away and then be like um yeah this is pretty dusty or dirty even though they do clean them um I still like to clean them so just make sure you have like Clorox wipes or like Windex or something ready to use just so you can wipe down all the surfaces before you start putting your things away now I'm gonna go over some things that you should pack because I know I forgot a lot of the things and up until I think the day before I left I had to like make a run to Walmart and buy a few more things and once I was there I had to go um, to the store and buy a few things just because I forgot about them so for sure for sure make sure you take a mattress pad because those mattresses aren't so comfortable so make sure you invest in a good mattress pad or two I think my roommate had like two mattress pads I'm not sure I know for sure I had one and it was so comfortable and it saved the day. So most dorms are furnished and they'll usually have like your bed, your desk, and then maybe like a little shelf for you to put some things in. So I knew I was going to overpack. So I bought like a big three shelf plastic container and it was pretty big and I kept a lot of my clothes there because trust me, you're going to need closet space. Command hooks will save the day. Command hooks come so handy so make sure you buy different types of command hooks different sizes just buy a bunch of command hooks whether it's because you want to decorate or you want to hang like your lanyard or um, your hats or accessories or um, setting up like calendars or sometimes some dorm rooms don't come with cork boards or white boards so if you want to hang your own command hooks are the way to go Okay, also another important thing for you to keep in mind for your dorm is either a fan for the summer or a heater for the winter. Quick story time, me and my roommate's dorm was always the hottest in the summer and the coldest in the winter. Any person that came into our room always told us it's so hot in here or it's so cold in here. Like, And it was just our dorm because we asked like our neighbors and they were like, no, my room's fine. And we were just like, what like why why our room but we made do um we actually didn't buy a heater just because by the time winter came and we were freezing if we would have ordered one it would have gotten here by the time winter was over so we just pulled through the winter but definitely for the summer our friend brought over her fan so we were just using her fan but definitely we need to get a fan and a heater this year definitely and then some of the more like appliance things is definitely check if your dorm room will come with a microwave and a fridge. I believe most of them do nowadays, but if it doesn't, then 
bring one because you're gonna need one and then also um like if you want to have a tv if you want to bring like your game consoles and things like that make sure you pack those too lamps will also come really in handy especially because i mean it's one room and you're probably going to be sharing it with another person so in case they go to sleep early or you want to go to sleep early it's always nice to have a desk lamp just so if you're gonna spend a few extra hours doing homework at night and they're already sleeping so you can just turn your lamp on and turn off the main light off just so that they can sleep you know be mindful of the other person but definitely lamps came really in handy and then more like decoration wise if you want to have rugs or curtains I actually had curtains that I never put up because I forgot to buy the rod so make sure you buy the curtains and the little rod to put the curtains up with and then whenever you're thinking about decorations for your room make sure you look up um, I guess the fire safety hazard rules you have because they do come in and do like dorm room checks at least they do at my school and I think we can't have like those little twinkly lights. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure we can't have them. So in case you want to use those twinkly lights, check if you can have those twinkly lights because if not, they will tell you to put them up. So um, one of the things that really came in handy was having just plates and cups and like silverware if we wanted to make like sandwiches or soups or like whatever, you know, like instant food is your best friend when you're in college. And a Brita filter, like those come in handy so much because... You need clean water, you just do. If you're gonna be using a community bath, make sure you buy a shower caddy and flip flops. Don't be that person that goes into the community shower with no flip flops. Just don't do it. Don't do it. And then another thing that came out useful for me was I had a bedside caddy. So my bed was lofted up and I had like a little rail so I wouldn't fall in the night. And I just hung my bedside caddy over um, the rail and I kept like the TV remote there any chargers for my phone I would put my phone there at night or my glasses things like that came out really helpful and then just like some final packing tips like overall packing tips is you're gonna be living in a small space with another person so be mindful when you're packing especially when you're packing clothes that is the easiest thing to overpack and girls or guys makeup like body sprays lotions like try not to overpack I know I did and I'm gonna try to cut off this year and not pack too much even though I know I'm gonna do it but I guess a good rule of thumb is is if you haven't used it for a few months don't take it because you're probably not gonna use it and plus you're probably gonna buy be buying things throughout the year so just keep that in mind that you don't have a lot of space and you don't want to overpack so just try your best not to overpack I know it's really hard but just try Okay, so that's it for this quick little move-in and packing tips video. Um, I will list all of the things down below, and if I forget anything or if I think of anything as I'm typing them, they will all be down in the description box. So good luck moving in.